Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Ninja Tech. In this video, we will see how can we configure S3 six server on CentOS seven machine. So uh, first of all, you need to be in the root directory. So I am already in the root directory. So if you don't know what is S3 six server, then you can see our previous video and the link of the uh, video is given in the description. First step is to install the required packages. So uh, first of all I will write yum install so uh, now you have to install all these packages before installing and configuring uh, s 6 server so uh, now press enter now the uh, uh, installation process of packages is started uh, now you need to press yes So uh, further installation is in processing. So now the uh, installation process of packages is completed. So now the next step is to install uh, Jensen library. So uh, for this we will write wget now press enter. So now Jensen library is installed now write http now uh, after writing this simply press enter now the last step is to write rpm import key minus slash apple slash 6 now press enter after this now you need to open the uh, file apple dot repo uh, now open uh, now write gedit Uh, now simply press uh, enter We can open this file with alternate method of VI now press uh, I to uh, write or edit the file now instead of this you can write Now for base URL you need to write now uh, after this write jp slash linux fedora slash slash 6 and after this slash write dollar base also add these two things enabled is equal to 1 and gpg check is equal to 1 after this press escape and after this press colon wq now press enter now the file is saved now the next step is to extract jensen package for this write tar now press enter so uh, now the next step is to uh, change the directory and configure the jensen package so for configuration write configure prefix is equal to slash user now press enter so it is saying no such file or directory so we are getting this error because we are not in the right directory so uh, first we need to change the directory so for this i will write cd jensen 2.7 so now i will enter this yes it's working Mm, 
now uh, after this the next step is to make write command make jensen now write make and press enter now press make double end sign and then make install now again press enter now you can check this by entering ld config command so now uh, now the next step is to install asterisk so we are going to install asterisk server 13.5.0 So now write command wget https Now press enter So file download is in process The next step is to extract asterisk package so now uh, we are going to extract the file by writing zxpf now press enter now uh, now the extracting process of asterisk package is completed now change the directory now press enter now we need to configure the asterisk file for this write configure now press enter so now uh, the asterisk server is installed so the installation process is completed and uh, uh, this is the sign this this diagram is a sign of this that uh, you have successfully installed the asterisk server so uh, now the next step is to uh, load mp3 libraries for this write contrib slash scripts slash get mp3 dot shell or you can write sh now press enter now the next step is modules installation for this write make and press enter so now uh, so now the asterisk build is completed now write make install and press enter So now the asterisk installation is completed. Now we need to uh, perform. Now we need to perform some more steps. Now the next step is to make sample and config. For this, write make samples and press enter. Now write make config and press enter. Now the next step is to uh, set up firewall rules. For this, I will write firewall. Now press enter. Now again, just change just replace UDP with TCP and again press enter now instead of 5060 replace this with 5061 and press enter now same for the TCP 
now press enter now replace 5061 with 4569 these are the port numbers now replace 5061 with 5038 with tcp tcp is the protocol for communication now for the last time write add port is equal to 10000 till 20000 slash udp and press enter so so the last step is to uh, launch stsec and enter v five times and press enter So now it is saying ST disk is ready. So uh, all the steps are performed. So if you want to make communication between two mobile phones, uh, then uh, for uh, that you need to do some configurations, and uh, you can take help uh, on my personal WhatsApp number, or you can email me for the help. I hope you understand. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, take care.